In mathematics, the Carathéodory kernel theorem is a result in complex analysis and geometric function theory established by the Greek mathematician Constantin Carathéodory in 1912. The uniform convergence on compact sets of a sequence of holomorphic univalent functions, defined on the unit disk in the complex plane and fixing zero, can be formulated purely geometrically in terms of the limiting behavior of the images of the functions. The kernel theorem has wide application in the theory of univalent functions and in particular provides the geometric basis for the Lona differential equation. topic kernel of a sequence of open sets let un be a sequence of open sets in c containing 0 let vn be the connected component of the interior of un un plus 1 containing 0 the kernel of the sequence is defined to be the union of the vans, provided it is non-empty, otherwise it is defined to be 0 0 Thus the kernel is either a connected open set containing 0 or the one-point set 0 0 the sequence is said to converge to a kernel if each subsequence has the same kernel. Examples If un is an increasing sequence of connected open sets containing zero, then the kernel is just the union. If un is a decreasing sequence of connected open sets containing zero, then, if zero is an interior point of u1 u2, the sequence converges to the component of the interior containing zero. Otherwise, if zero is not an interior point, the sequence converges to zero. Display style zero. Topic: Kernel theorem. Let Fn Z be a sequence of holomorphic univalent functions on the unit disk D, normalized so that Fn 0 and F 0 greater than 0. Then Fn converges uniformly on compactor in D to a function F if and only if Un. Fn D converges to its kernel and this kernel is not C. If the kernel is 0 display style 0 then F topic 0 otherwise the kernel is a connected open set U F is univalent on D and F D U Topic Proof Using Hurwitz's theorem and Montel's theorem, it is straightforward to check that if Fn tends uniformly on compactor to F then each subsequence of Un has kernel U equals F D. Conversely if un converges to a kernel not equal to c, then by the Kibbe quarter theorem un contains the disk of radius f, 0, 4 with center 0. The assumption that u does not equal c implies that these radii are uniformly bounded. By the Kibbe distortion theorem f n z f n Zero Z one minus Z two Display style F underscore N Z L E Q F underscore N carrot prime zero Z over one Z carrot two Hence the sequence Fn is uniformly bounded on compact sets. If two subsequences converge to holomorphic limits f and g, then f zero. Topic: 
G 0 and with F 0 G 0 0 by the first part and the assumptions it follows that F D G D Uniqueness in the Riemann mapping theorem forces F equals G, so the original sequence Fn is uniformly convergent on compact sets. <laughs> 